Hey guys, Big Red 3, title with a quick video. Um, first of all, Truth Slayer Sting. I'm going to say exactly what I said in June. I'm not going to prevent you from recommending me, but really other people deserve it more. I seriously mean that. Other people deserve it more. But, I know before this video was even made, people probably already sent in my name. People will probably still continue to send in my name, and I'm not going to stop them. But... Other people do deserve it a lot more than I do. I have 822 subs. I only just barely make his qualifications. So like I said, other people do deserve it more. But I'm not going to stop you. Please, it's Big Rat 310. Don't submit Big Rat 310 like some people did do last time. That account I'm not using anymore. Maybe sporadically I'll find something up fuck to do with it but please it's big rat 310 spelled out don't submit 310 because a lot of people did that last time which shocked the living shit at me let's get to this video so again Tyler Black is your new champion oh shit I should have said spoiler alert eh fuck it Tyler Black is your new champion if you're an ROH fan you shouldn't give a shit about spoilers anyways um this our, this show reminds me a lot of Final Resolution where you have two amazing matches you have a great opener, but the rest of the card is just eh. Nothing looks horrible. Like, there was some really horrid garbage on Final Resolution. But this this looks like a pretty good show. I do plan on picking it up. Because also, you know, aside from Final Resolution, the two main matches on here look better than the two main matches on Final Resolution. And one match being a five-star match. But ultimately, I think the show... I think I was right. I think the show is just going to be an 8.0 and 8.25. I, I can't give it higher than that unless... Any of the, of the other matches catches my attention. I was right when I said this could be one of the worst anniversary shows in years. I do think it will be worse than last year's. I do think I haven't seen the sixth anniversary show yet, so I can't judge. But I've only heard extremely good things, except from Chase. The fifth year festival finales. I'm gonna take the the good ones like finale, which is awesome, and Liverpool, which I'm about to watch, which people also say is awesome. For that, you had the fourth anniversary show. This this could probably be better than that. Uh, then the third anniversary show celebration. I heard like part three is better can be better than this And I have not seen the second and I do think the first anniversary show will be better than this one So this will be one of the worst anniversary shows in my opinion as far as quality goes Obviously if you were there live this is probably one of the best live shows you've ever attended in your life and I 100% understand But for a fan on DVD especially for a Tyler Bach cater this might not this show might just be great You know good great show good show not like amazing All right, so but like I said, anniversary shows never really are amazing except for 50 Festival Finale. But anyways, this is a video to all those who bitch and moan about every new fucking champion in this company. Ever since Homicide lost his belt, I'm gonna, I'm gonna directly quote a guy on the forum who I actually agree with. His name's Tree. I see him a lot on the forum. He's a very smart guy. New champion. Q. Whiny fans complaining. Has happened every time since Morishima won the strap. Oh my god, Homicide got screwed. He deserved more than six weeks as champ. Nigel beat Morishima? How? That's fucking lame. He should have won the belt six months ago. His time is gone. Jerry Lynn beat Nigel? What? ROH is all about young guys and innovation, not some old guy. What did he ever do anyways? Uh, I'm never gonna watch ROH again. Austin Aries? He's just gotten worse and worse. This new character he has is just terrible. He's not even a good wrestler anymore, and he's just not fun to watch. Tyler Black? What the fuck? He's terrible on the mic. His time was more than a year ago. This is the worst thing ever. What is ROH thinking? And on and on it goes. Fans in the crowd pop like mad at the title change. Fans on the message board whine like little girls. And then, usually, of the course of the new champ's reign, the fans who pissed and moaned start to love that champ, forgetting that they were ever so emotastic about it. Tyler Black is your new champ. Give the guy a chance as champ before shitting on it. I disagree with the second last thing he said. Of the course of the new champ's reign, the fans who pissed and moaned start to love that champ. Nigel, they complained about his injuries. That's kind of why they turned him heel. Jerry, I was on and on, they still hated him, look at validation. Uh, I'm just going to tell that show, the Jerry Lynn Meltdown. Or Never Say Die, where they completely went crazy for Chris Hero, wanting him to win the belt. Aries, look at Aries versus Richards and the Omega Effect, his after promos. They're not like, those were not kayfabe, those were shoot promos of him saying how the fans think he's lost his touch, he's lost his magic. Uh, Morishima, as the time went on, he just kept dominating people in squash matches, which pissed a lot of the people off. So yes, the champs will forever and forever complain about every single Arwitch champion. I don't know who will make these guys happy. The only person I think might be able to satisfy these bitches 
for a long period of time would be Davy Richards. Now, let me get on to why I like the Tyler Black channel change. I've preached and said this everywhere I've been, and I've said if Tyler Black does not win the title, he will not win the title for a long, long time, if at all. And everyone, ever since January, when Davey resigned his contract, like, oh my god, give Davey the strap, give Davey the strap. Why? He hasn't been booked to win it. Sure, he had the Aries versus Richards thing, but he just lost the fucking tag belts. Uh, has not appeared on any main, in any main event scene, except for the, what's it called? Whatever the, whatever they're going to call the reunion show. The Wrestle 4 reunion show. And that was in an eight-man tag match where his partner got the pin. Really, he has not booked. He has not been booked to win the belt at all. Not for a long time. Ever since the feud with the Briscoes started. So really, people are so jumping on his dick, wanting him to just get the title. They don't give a shit if it's booked right or not. They just care that if he wins the title, he'll have a great run. Yes, I'll admit he will have a great one. And yes, I 100% agree that he will eventually win the title. But we so so desperately needed a face champion. Look at the pick six. Claudio Castagnoli, Kenny King, Chris Hero, Kevin Steen. If Austin Aries was still champion, none of his future matches would have made any sense. Sure, you could have done Aries Roderick, and then some say they would have done Aries Richards. Richards wasn't even, isn't even in the pick six at the time. And by that point, you have so many people in the pick six who have been there for such a long-ass time who have yet to get any of their title shots. Kevin Steen has been in the pick six since November. Chris Hero, since October. Roderick Strong, well, he'll, oh, he'll eventually get a shot. Claudio Castagnoli since November. I mean, Jesus Christ. It is just ridiculous. Everything makes sense. And let me tell you why this did not happen earlier. I, I think if Tyler Black never got hurt, then he and Aries could have had their match at Gorba Honor. Maybe not an hour draw. Maybe an hour draw. We'll never know. And I think maybe they could have, this could have led into their match, this match that they just had, final battle. But because of the injury, it set them back a few months. And they had to do the thing. They And it, they got lucky with the survival of the fitness being right there. So Black can win it. That makes sense for the final battle. Which led into the 8th anniversary show. Everything worked perfectly. It made sense. Which is the most important thing in professional wrestling. It made sense. I'm one of the first people to say that he should have won the belt long ago. I don't give two shits if ROH changed the bookers in between the time he was booked to win. They were pushing the guy to win the belt since March of 2008. Winning it in February of 2010 just doesn't seem acceptable. I don't care if Gabe wanted him to job to Davey in six weeks and Adam took over and Adam just... <sighs> I'm sorry. They, they had the thing at Injustice 2, which is an excellent thing. Let me just show off the DVD just because I can. I'll create everything just fell. This show, this match, is an amazing match. And again, it worked perfectly. For whatever reason, Adam did not continue with that. Adam decided to have him in the Age of the Fall feud. I mean, I understand that that was needed to continue. But then this match should not have happened at this show. And it should have happened a little later. So I do blame 100% Adam Pierce for that fault. And the Age of the Fall feud continued into June. Go to Manhattan Mayhem 3, where people thought he should have won the strap. Where the crowd wanted him to win the strap. Where he... Purposely fought Jimmy Jacobs in, in a non-match so he can cash in his title shot that night. That was the perfect time to do it. They gave it to Aries. And then Aries proceeded to have a mediocre title run up until, up until, the Aries versus Richards and Aries Omega matches. Every other match I thought was good, but nothing was great. Nothing was great about his title run at all. Eh, Brian Danielson, but that's Brian Danielson. So then, Tyler Black gets hurt. I don't... That's not anyone's fault. He got hurt. Like, literally, right after Manhattan Mayhem 3, he got hurt. Came back in October. Then, as soon as he came back, survival of the fittest, final battle, 8th anniversary show. So I do agree that Adam's timing was off with the Injustice 2 match. Especially, you know, I understand that they want to take the strap off of Nigel that soon because of his injuries. But I still think that he, they jumped the gun with a match like that. Maybe you could have done a Tyler Jerry 40 minute match, even though Jerry was face. But if he turned Jerry heel, I actually would have agreed with that because that would have made sense. But that's a different point. <coughs> yes, I do agree. It was done way too long. It was drawn out way too much. But certain things were not under Adam's control. 
certain things were just not under his favor. The injury really set them back a while. Tyler is your champion. He will be a great champion. <laughs> I really hope Adam doesn't just top him out to Davey. I really hope they continue with the Tyler Roderick thing. Then they can go into a Tyler Kings of Wrestling feud, which could be great. And then a Tyler Kevin Steen match. And then ultimately, they can also do a Tyler Kenny King match, which makes perfect sense. And then if you want, give this draft to Roderick or give this draft to Davey, who I truly believe are the next two people. Either one of them are going to win the belt from Tyler. Even if you have to keep Davey heel or even turn Roderick heel. Who knows? But whatever. It makes sense. Stop bitching. He just won the belt. He has not proven himself to be a horrible champion or not. You have to give him time. I don't say, oh, have an open mind. And after every title fence, oh, that was shit. Oh, he's a bad champion. Oh, his mic skills suck. Give the guy time. He's been the guy groomed to win the belt for two years. Why all of a sudden is he not ready to ruin because of certain things not under Adam's control? I'm Big Red 310, and this is my rant, and I'm out. Let's see ya.